Hi guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to show you my built-in top 5 Final Cut Pro effects. Obviously, these are my favorites. You might have some different ones. And if you want to learn about Final Cut Pro, make sure to check one of these two videos. The link is going to be in the description down below. The first one is not really an effect, but you can make you can make effects with it. It's the transform tool. So for example, I'm going to mark this clip, click transform tool, then make the view frame smaller. And for example, I'm going to take me outside the frame. Obviously, I'm on the green screen. Then on top, I'm going to add a keyframe and play the clip for a little bit. And then let's say here, I want to be in the full frame. So just drag it to wherever you want. Then add next keyframe on top. Now when you play it, it's going to automatically come to the frame. And besides moving yourself out of the screen and back in, you can move stuff around or, or make an object bigger or smaller. So I'm going to add a few keyframes and show you how it looks. So mark the keyframe. So now we want this like button to be larger. Next keyframe. Then move it a little and then make it smaller again and etc. Now we're going to turn the button. And now when you play it, this is the way it looks. And to combine all the clips together, you can make a compound clip. Now the fire and the like button are together. And now when I put a few keyframes, they're actually going to move together. See, just like this. Oh yeah, speaking about like buttons. Make sure to smash the like button, that's right. Another cool effect in Final Cut Pro is the mask effect. You have a couple of options here, like vignette mask, shape mask, image mask, graduated mask, but I mostly use draw mask. So I'm going to apply it to the clip, and I can make the view zoom in. And basically, I want to cut out the chair. So I'm going to do it quickly, this is just to show you. And I also use this to do my thumbnails all the time. Now I disappeared, but if you click invert mask, then the chair disappears. And obviously this is a video, so the mask is gonna stay in the same place. So you go in the inspector and then click here where it, where it says control points. And then when the video moves, you have to move the control points with it. And then of course, you can use this mask to make cool blur effects. So for example, you copy this layer, then you click command C, then go to the beginning and click command V. And now you have this clip doubled. We're just gonna start this from here. Then we're gonna go on the right side and click blur. Then we're gonna choose Gaussian blur. So we're gonna drag it to the clip. And as you know, in Final Cut Pro, every effect can be adjusted. So we're gonna blur it a lot. But I don't want the entire thing to be blurred, I just want my face to be blurred. So basically, same thing. Get the mask, and then draw the control points around her face. And then again, I'm just gonna do it approximately. Then you can adjust it anytime. And obviously your face is gonna move, so adjust the mask. By doing it the same way, so you click control points, and then click add keyframe, then click keep moving frame by frame. Then you can adjust the entire mask or just single points. And then click next keyframe. So the blur mask is gonna always stay on your face. Another one is kind of an effect, it, you can customize your titles. So we're just gonna choose a basic title. Then on the right side, you can choose whatever you want. Then over here, you can change the font. Obviously color, or make a gradient. And then resize it as much as you want. And since this is another layer, you can make it bigger or smaller or even make it come out of the screen. And you can even make this, this text 3D. Another one, all these effects that you see over here, you can fully customize them. So for example, we're gonna choose some basic effect. Let's say black and white. You can adjust the amount and you can even adjust which color is more or less. So you can make it really specific. Or for example, fisheye. So same thing, you can adjust the amount. I can adjust what side is coming from the effect, or like top and bottom. So for example, I have a large forehead right now. And same with the audio effects. I'm not going to play the audio because I don't have a good recording from the Mac, but you get the point. And you can even add a keyframe, so you're going to choose whether uh, the monster effect is going to come in or out, or decrease or increase. The fifth effect is a speed tool, if you want to call it that. Now this is recording in slow motion. For example, we're going to speed it up, or reverse the other one, and you see it makes a cool effect. But you can also put speed ramps, and this is where it gets really cool. So we're gonna put one speed ramp right here where I'm in the air. So I'm gonna click Shift B, and now drag this of how many percent you want to increase. And we're gonna add another speed ramp right here, and we're gonna slow this down. And here's the clip. I know it's not perfect, but this is just to show you. You see, those are speed ramps. If you want to change the color of a car, like Zach King, make sure to click this video. 
And of course, make sure to subscribe because we post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!